one of the big questions I've been asking my clients a lot recently as a, as a coach, because they'll get in this place in their career, kind of like where you're at and um, you know, kind of in this place where um, they continue to want to lead and they continue to want to get more leadership opportunities, but they find themselves doing a lot of the work. So I often ask them the question, I said, do you want to be an MVP or do you want to build a world championship? Because mm -hmm. those are two very different things. So we think about things like you described, like how we do the work and how we make decisions. That's more of a head coach kind of a role. You know, you're on the sidelines of the clipboard. Now I know Papa John's has lots of head coaches and then they need lots of head coaches, um, lots of kinds of coaches on the staff. But I think that's an important way to think about leadership because you can be an MVP on a mediocre team. Mm -hmm. and we see that all the time, sure. right? we see in every sport, right. um, where someone's you know pulling the weight, but the rest of the team around them isn't isn't aligned in how they do the work or how they're making decisions. Yep. So there's not coordination of the plays. And then you also see the flip side. Sometimes you see teams, then you say to yourself, they really don't have any one good player on mm -hmm. the team. How did they become good this season? Yeah. And all of a sudden, they you know they've got this great record because they they figured out those components that you mentioned. Well, two things there. I mean, the second is the money ball situation, right? Which is they figured out what matters and they focus on that. So, you know, um, it's less about hitting home runs and more about getting on base and, and, and right. getting runs around, like to keep that. And you told going. me you weren't a baseball guy. And I, I, look at I'm, this. I'm, look at that. That was fantastic, Rob. But it's <laughs> um, but they're but they're very clear, and you know, both in consulting and I would say even more recently, sometimes I'm. Um, I, I run into a situation where people don't understand, and this is maybe a little bit of the old finance guy in me, is like, don't understand how we make money as an organization or what's important to us as an organization. And, and I link that to like the P&L, revenue, net income, growth, like all the things that are our strategic objectives. So, but um, there's something else there that you said, and I go back to my days of consulting where you know, there's lots of jokes about, um, you know, parachuting in on teams and, you know, you, like we don't have to go down that path. But one of the things to be a partner you have to be very good at is you have to be able to come in quickly and kind of assess the situation and what's going on. The other thing, and no one ever talks about this, and it kind of struck me when you said MVP versus coach, is there's a fundamental trust and quality issue that has to be addressed there. So if I'm on site or if I'm one person in an organization, I can't change it. I can't change it. If I'm on site for a day or if I'm one person in an organization, I can't change it. I have to have, like, we have to have a common vision, understanding of the quality. And then I have to trust that you're gonna play second base and I'm gonna play first base. And I know you're gonna do your job and I'm gonna do my job. And when we do our job together, like we're gonna win. But it's when I have to think about doing second base and first base that like, it's just too much. And when we were at McKinsey or when I was at McKinsey and we would talk about this concept of what does it take to transform a business? The best CEO, CEO, CEO in the world cannot transform a company by themselves. What the research tells you is, depending on the size of the organization, how big the transformation is, you need somewhere between 30 and 60 people right? And you need to have those people in the right role. So think about like the big things that you're doing, right? And it may be, it may be the top leadership, but it's probably not. It may be the influencers in the organization, but you need to have your MVPs in the positions that are going to drive the most value for the thing you're trying to do. And that is oftentimes something I see organizations stumble with is like, you know, the real opportunity to change may be, you know, say like in an international business unit or in, you know, this new emerging business unit. And the person that we have kind of allocated in that role actually isn't the MVP. And we need to think about, okay, do we take a, an emerging star and go put him in this role? And do we, he has to, expl he has to understand or she has to understand that, you know, my job in this case is to play second base and be the best second baseman ever. And if I do that, then the team's going to win. And that's a thing that like in transformations, this idea that one person can do it, um, one person can change a company, even like, you know, there's a lot of news this week about, uh, you know, I'll say Twitter got a, got a new leader, right? Right. 
one person can't change a company. They can maybe ruin the culture of a company, but they can't change a company by themselves because it's just it's just too big of a thing. It's it's a living organism. It has to like work together. So the nice way because we'll start to, we're going to start to kind of land our plane here, but I want to go back full circle because you mentioned early on you said one of those big pivot points that change between kind of analyst to partner that that one of the big inflections is that ability to start to think about other people's needs other people's wants, other people's leadership goals, other people's interests, um, some of those things. And why I think that's such an important connection is when we're thinking about a head coach, it's not about you, it's not about me, it's about it's about this, mm-hmm. the world championship, right? It's this thing, we're gonna do this together, you get this. Well, it's about an MVP. No, it's, it's either about me or it's about, only. there's only one MVP, right? Mm-hmm. So, and I think there's just that simple orientation, you remind us that if we go in with this idea of, you know, I'm going to win or I'm going to do all these things so then I get the next promotion, that's, people are going to feel that. And they then, do. and then they're not going to, and then, and then they're not going to want to cover second base. You know, they're going to let that ball kind of go get through the infield and yeah. gonna roll into the outfield um, because they're going to sense it's about you. So I think you remind us that it's it's about kind of setting that common mutual goal yeah. and, and then also defining what is winning and what are the metrics we need to get there. 